Well, time now for a little expertise on the security front on what happened last night and what the reaction has been today. So let's go to Ottawa, where we're joined by Michelle Juno Kutsia, former CSIS officer uh, and uh, security expert. Michelle, you've helped us on many times in the past. So why don't you start by giving us your initial take on, on what happened last night, your sense of what went down there. Well, unfortunately, as it was mentioned, uh, it was a fairly simple act of terrorism, not difficult to execute, not difficult to plan. But there was, make no mistake, there was some planning behind all this. Uh, the fact that he was capable to acquire an assault rifle uh, that is not found in Canada, that means either he went on the black market or he went to the U.S. And that demonstrates definitely a certain element of planning uh, before he committed this massacre. It seems to be shaping up as another one of those kind of lone gunman situations. Is it too early to draw that conclusion? Well, a little bit too early at this point. Definitely there was a radicalization process uh, uh, that took place with this young person. Uh, uh, extremism, far right, far left, a religious or ideological, it remains I extremism. And that's one of the problems that we're currently facing. In the entire Canada, there's only one center of de-radicalization that exists, and it was established by the Montreal uh, uh, government, uh, the, the, the city uh, that paid for that center. And recently, the director of that center pointed out that 20% of the 680-something calls they got last year were coming from Quebec City area, and they were all right-wing extremists. So there's definitely a trend that needs to be studied and that, be to, that should worry the, the local population. What's going on that would lead to those kind of numbers? I think, unfortunately, in great part, there is also some of the discourses that have been sort of maintained within the, the uh, uh, local media. Uh, the local media have been sort of uh, 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 having some borderline hate discourses. They've been definitely playing on the emotion of the population, and that definitely maintain a certain sense of insecurity for people who are already sensitive to these far-right ideas. And that has to be sort of uh, uh, stopped to a certain extent if we want to regain the sense of community and the, the sense of safety that we have and we used to have. Do you think that we've been, uh, and, and not just the media, but uh, uh, governments and security forces have been uh, uh, not paying attention to this or have been blind to it? Why would this be happening? These investigations are extremely difficult because if you have a single individual that is capable to keep this quiet for a long period of time and to plan such an attack, which we call low intensity to a certain effect, but has the tremendous uh, effect and ripples within the society, that is extremely difficult for the law enforcement. Definitely there is science. Science with that, that you've mentioned a little bit earlier, that uh, throughout the years are appear, appearing, and the police and the governments must pay attention. But again, it, was a res it is the responsibility of the government to start giving tools to the general population when a parent, a friend, an educator, a, a close person to a, a young mind is wit witnessing that there is some changes taking place. To who do you turn? to a specialist, to a professional that can help you. And this is what was lacking, this is what is missing, because we had a city government that had to, to open a center, and that's the only center in Canada. We got a serious problem with our provincial and federal governments here. All right, last quick point, Michelle. What's the lesson in this? I think what was very beautiful tonight to see is all over the province of Quebec and all over the world we saw a great and spontaneous demonstration despite the bitter cold that you are currently experiencing. It, uh, 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 people went out in mass and showed their solid solidarity. I think this sort of movement must be now coming out and as uh, your, one of your previous guests was saying, when we hear uh, intolerance, when we hear words that are obviously trying to build walls or separation between us, we must stand and stop that immediately. All right. Michelle, thanks very much for your time, as My always. My pleasure.